Welcome to the Abraxas Youth Center, located on the grounds of the South Mountain Restoration Center in South Mountain, Pennsylvania. Here we provide specialized treatment for juvenile fire centers in a secure residential environment. At Abraxas, we recognize that different fire centers require different treatment approaches. Therefore, we offer diagnostic evaluations and long-term treatment options. In addition to the secure facility, we also offer non-secure treatment for fire setters on the South Mountain campus. We treat many of the comorbid features of the juvenile fire setters effectively. With our holistic approach to treatment, based on a trauma-informed care model, the risk for recidivism can be significantly reduced. Thus, attention disorders, depression, conduct disorders, and other disorders are treated concurrently with specific fire setting issues. Various evidence and competency-based curriculums are utilized throughout the course of treatment, including, but not limited to, aggression replacement training, cognitive behavior therapy, thinking for a change, teens on target, and Ansel Casey life skills. Our on-site, licensed school, accredited by the Middle States Association of College and Schools, offers credit recovery, high school diploma, GED tracks, and SAT testing. A comprehensive resource center and computer lab additionally aid in student development. In addition, all classrooms are equipped with smart board technology. In addition to the clinical services, vocational opportunities, restitution, and community services are available for our kids. We have over 10 years of experience treating the juvenile fire setters. We understand that treating the juvenile fire setter is clinically challenging and complex, but we have great results. See for yourself. The DNA group was a big one for me. You know, uh, ART, you know, I learned how to de-escalate my anger, you know. I get angry over the littlest things and, you know, just by having an ART group and talking to people, you know, I can, you know, stop and think about the things that I want to do, you know. Um, the most groups that I've liked in this program is um, Healthy Masculinity, and it basically tells you how to be um, more proper, have better relationships with people, um, having manners, you know, how to treat people with kindness and respect. Healthy Masculinity Group has been very beneficial for me. It teaches me how to be a young adult. You know, I'm getting ready to be out, you know, in the outside world. I can be responsible. You know, I can be, you know, goal oriented. You know, I can just, you know, have a lot of things set for me, and I can, you know, focus on short term, long term. Overall, there's a large juvenile arson problem in the United States of America and unfortunately the United States has the highest arson rate in the world. Juvenile fire setters will use fire to meet a variety of needs. Some of those needs have developed over the years and emerged into typologies. Delinquent fire setters will use fire just to be destructive, cover up a crime, or to meet a means to an end. These boys have other delinquent behaviors, tend to be antisocial, and fire setting is just part of their repertoire. Um, I'm a delinquent fire setter, so usually most of the time when I was out in the community, I would set fires to be um, basically causing damage to my community, starting gang riots and things like that. Pathological fire setters use fires to change their emotional states. Either they're looking to downregulate, relieve themselves of some despairing emotions, or upregulate to gain some excitement or adrenaline rush. At Abraxas Youth Center, we tend to treat the delinquent and the pathologic fire setters. Finding the right balance between treatment and the fire typology is really important. Pathological and delinquent fire setters tend to need residential and fire-focused treatment. This place is actually, you know, very beneficial for me. And me personally, I think if I wanted to came here, you know, I wouldn't be who I am today. I guess coming into the program has showed me how to be a better person, be a better man, so I thank this program for helping me out. Um, in my future, I, I, want a, I want a better life for myself, you know. I didn't see a, a good future when I first came in, but I see one now. I have a lot of routes I can take now since I'm 
very focused on being positive, very focused on, you know, being someone, you know, and I can do this for my family, I can do this for myself as well.